Are the vector valued functions x1 and x2 linearly independent or dependent? In this lesson, we'll take a look at two approaches to answer this question. First, the vector valued functions x1 through xn are linearly independent when c1 times x1 plus c2 times x2 all the way through plus cn times xn equals a zero vector has only the solution c1 through cn equals zero for all values of t. Using this definition, we would consider the vector equation c1 times x1 plus c2 times x2 equals the zero vector. From here, if we write the corresponding system of equations, we have c1t plus c2t cubed equals zero and c1t squared plus c2t to the fourth equals zero. Now recall, in order to be independent, the system must only have the solution c1 equals c2 equals zero for all values of t. Let's consider the value of t equals two. If t equals two, notice the equations are two c1 plus eight c2 equals zero and four c1 plus 16 c2 equals zero, resulting in the augmented matrix shown here on the right. If we write this in reduced row echelon form, notice how we have a row of zeros indicating we have an infinite number of solutions. This is enough to show the only solution is not c1 equals c2 equals zero, and therefore the vector value functions are linearly dependent. Notice the first row indicates c1 plus four c2 equals zero, or c1 equals negative four c2. Here we can select any value for c2 and determine c1, which will satisfy the system of equations when t equals two. Another approach to answer the question would be to use the Ronskian. Looking at our second set of notes, given n vectors or n vector valued functions with n components given by x1 through xn, we form the matrix X where the columns are x1 through xn, and then we find the determinant of matrix X, which is the Ronskian. If the determinant doesn't equal zero, then the n vectors or vector value functions are linearly independent. If the determinant of x equals zero, then the n vectors or n vector value functions are linearly dependent. In this case, notice how vector x would be a two by two matrix where the first column is x1 and the second column is x2. And now we find the determinant. The determinant is equal to t times t to the fourth minus t cubed times t squared, which gives us t to the fifth minus t to the fifth, which is equal to zero, because the determinant of matrix X is equal to zero, we know the vector divide functions are linearly dependent. I hope you found this helpful.